A perfect storm might be forming for NVIDIA. For the past two years, no trend has caused more excitement on Wall Street than the rise of artificial intelligence or AI. AI-driven software and systems have become more skilled at completing tasks, and they can even learn new skills over time without human help. This gives AI technology almost endless long-term potential. In a report called Sizing the Prize, analysts at PwC estimated that AI will boost global gross domestic product, GDP, by 26%, or $15.7 trillion, by the end of the decade. A growth of this size means companies across the AI industry could see big rewards. But no company has benefited more from AI's growth than NVIDIA the semiconductor giant. In under two years, NVIDIA has transformed from a $360 billion business that was somewhat influential in the tech sector to Wall Street's most valuable publicly traded company with a market cap of $3.64 trillion. Because of NVIDIA's important role in the AI revolution, both Wall Street and investors are paying close attention to Novier's 20. That's when the company will reveal its operating results for the quarter that ended on October 27th. While the excitement surrounding NVIDIA is high, I will give you six reasons why NVIDIA's stock could hit a wall on Nova 20. Before we begin, this video is not an investment advice and must do your own diligence. However, with my experience investing for years, the content from this video has a solid research foundation. Check our patron on the description below for an inside members-only access on what are the best buys now. We will also update you on what to sell for gains or to avoid losses. Subscribe to our channel so you will never miss out. NVIDIA's operating ramp has been textbook. Before diving into the reasons why NVIDIA's stock could face challenges after its fiscal third quarter results, let's first understand the background behind NVIDIA's impressive $3.3 trillion market value increase in just under two years. The core of NVIDIA's growth lies in its hardware. The company's H100 graphics processing unit, often called the Hopper, and its next-generation Blackwell GPU architecture have been in high demand with orders currently backlogged. Companies are eager to gain a competitive edge, and NVIDIA's AI GPUs offer unmatched computing performance. Along with strong demand, NVIDIA has significant pricing power. While rival AI GPUs are typically priced between $10,000 and $15,000, the hopper consistently commands a price range of $30,000 to $40,000 per chip. Companies are willing to pay these premium prices for NVIDIA's products, which has helped push its gross margin to as high as 78%. It's also important to highlight the role of NVIDIA's CUDA software platform in driving sales. CUDA is the development toolkit used to build large language models and unlock the full computing potential of NVIDIA's GPUs. In other words, CUDA serves as a key element that keeps NVIDIA's customers loyal to its ecosystem of products and services. With remarkable sales growth, $27 billion in fiscal 2023 projected to reach $180 billion by fiscal 2026, it's no wonder that investors have been flocking to NVIDIA. However, there are several factors that suggest a perfect storm may be forming for NVIDIA and the company will need flawless execution to maintain its nearly vertical growth trajectory. Opinion. The party ends for NVIDIA on Novarin 20. In just four days, NVIDIA will announce its fiscal Q3 operating results, and there's a good chance it will exceed consensus revenue and profit expectations. Over the past seven quarters, NVIDIA has consistently surpassed earnings per share EPS forecasts. However, simply meeting or beating the expectations for its October quarter may not be enough to drive further growth, and there are several reasons for this. First, competition is intensifying. After NVIDIA captured an estimated 98% of GPU shipments to data centers in 2022 and 2023, according to Tech Insights, the company is likely to lose some of that market share to advanced micro devices, or AMD, this year. AMD is ramping up production of its MI300X AI GPU and has also introduced the MI325X, which should begin production by the end of this year. 
With NVIDIA's GPUs currently backlogged and businesses eager to secure a competitive edge, many may turn to AMD's AI hardware instead. Second, AI GPU scarcity has been a key factor in boosting NVIDIA's pricing power. But as more chips become available and the supply shortage diminishes, NVIDIA's pricing power and gross margins could be negatively impacted. Third, NVIDIA's supply chain constraints are still a challenge. Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing, which produces NVIDIA's chips, is working to increase its chip-on wafer on substrate, COWAS, monthly production capacity to 80,000 wafers. COWAS is essential for the packaging of high bandwidth memory used in AI accelerated data centers. Being dependent on its suppliers means NVIDIA may not be able to meet all of its orders, potentially losing valuable market share to both internal and external competitors. Fourth, export restrictions add another hurdle. In 2022, U.S. regulators limited NVIDIA's ability to export its AI GPUs to China, the world's second largest economy. The following year, NVIDIA's adjusted AI chips, the A800 and H800, designed specifically for China, were also added to the restricted export list. With the U.S. government becoming more stringent on trade with China, NVIDIA's opportunities to profit from AI hardware exports to China are diminishing. Fifth, insider trading activity raises some concerns. Over the past 47 months, no executive or director at NVIDIA has bought a single share of the company on the open market. While there are many reasons why executives may choose to sell stock, the one reason to buy shares is if you expect them to rise. The lack of buying activity from NVIDIA's leadership suggests that they do not see the stock as undervalued. Lastly, there's the historical trend to consider. Over the past three decades, investors have frequently overestimated how quickly new technologies or innovations will be adopted or gain utility. This leads to overinflated growth expectations that often fall short. Despite strong demand for NVIDIA's Hopper and Blackwell technologies, what's lacking from its customers is a clear and well-defined plan for monetizing their AI investments. In other words, businesses are purchasing NVIDIA's products but they don't yet have clear use cases. All new technologies take time to mature, and AI is no different. This leaves NVIDIA's stock in a fragile position heading into November 20th. Give us a like if you like our video, subscribe and ring the bell to never miss out. Check our patron for an inside look on what are the best buy and sell stocks every week.